Hello everyone and welcome to another card video. My name is Corin Whiskman and today I'm playing with some fun say it with stamps. I totally identify with a sloth. Some of you may know I have a little bit of a heart condition and sometimes it makes me rather slow. So I totally identify with a sloth. So we are going to be playing with the sloth image from the Slow Down stamp set. I could be any of these images. Let me show you what I've got to play with and then we're going to make a fun card with the sloth image. This is the Say It With Stamps Slow Down stamp set and coordinating dies. I love the packaging because they give you these great ideas on the back. I love that it has a mix of punny sentiments and also like not so punny sentiments. Sometimes you, you don't want a pun. This is the card that we're going to make today. I'm going to use some gouache to add color to the details of my sloth. To start, I'm going to stamp my sloth image on light gray cardstock with light gray ink. I wanted the, lined, the lines of the image to be a bit soft. I have several colors of gouache paints on my palette here to activate them or reactivate them. I'm just adding a little bit of water. You can do this multiple ways. I'm using this little pipette, but you could also use a water brush and mix it around to kind of rejuvenate your color, your paint. The water brush is sometimes easy because you can kind of spew out some of that excess color to move on to the next color, if that makes sense. I enjoy leaving my paints on the palette for easy access. I also have these very fine detail brushes that I'm using today. I think it's a one and a two, uh, just a round brush. Now, because I identify with a sloth, I am drawing in his dark eyes. I have dark bags under my eyes. So he does, he needs to have them too. So that's all I'm doing with this pencil is I'm just drawing in some lines of like, you know, this, how the sloth has those, I don't know, eye bags. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> I'm taking the gray gouache and just adding in these little details that I wanted to add. Don't be afraid to kind of change or manipulate the images. The designers of these stamps want you to enjoy them and play with them. So don't be afraid to change them however you want. Right now, I'm just giving him some toes because I'm not going to paint his body. I'm leaving it the light gray of the cardstock. I'm all about keeping things simple at the moment. And this, for me, just did the trick. I know sometimes as greeting card designers, uh, we really get into blending color and making them as artistic as possible and sometimes just over the top. But it doesn't need to be that. Card making is fun. Nobody is doing it to save money. We're doing it for fun. So let down all of your barriers or whatever is standing in your way from having that fun and just go for it. Gouache is fun because it's more opaque than watercolors so you can layer them differently. I am not a gouache expert. In fact, I'm rather new to gouache, but I enjoy using it and I love the look. So I'm gonna keep doing it because guess what? It's fun. His details are very small. So I did have to wear my glasses and use these little tiny brushes to paint him. But I just sat there painting, adding color, watching a little something on the TV. And before I knew it, it was done. I didn't really follow any rules. In fact, I painted the leaves blue and gray. It got a little messy at times, but that's okay because gouache, because it's more opaque than watercolor, you can kind of fix it and layer it a little bit differently than watercolor. It does require a little bit of patience to let your flower dry before you start messing with it again. I love the whimsy and the detail of this stamp. His details are fabulous, but you do have to kind of wait and let things dry before you add like the little circle in the middle of the flower. I typically peruse Pinterest for color combinations. And then once I find a, com a color combination that I like, I'll start to mix colors on my palette and try to come up with a similar look to the inspiration photo that I saw on Pinterest. Pinterest is great for this purpose, but I can get inspiration for a card from anywhere. Fashion, video games, I mean everywhere. And it's typically not other cards that I've seen, although we love to give you guys inspiration. 
You also don't need to use fancy paints like gouache. You could use crayons to color him, and I would still think it was fabulous. In fact, I think that would be a fun challenge. Make a card with crayons. That would be fun. Now, I have to let this guy dry a little bit before I can cut him out. So let's move on to the sentiment. This card is going to be an encouragement encouragement card. It's going to say, hang in there. You've got this. And I'm stamping it in a really dark gray. It's not black. It's a dark gray, kind of to match his color combo. This panel is cut to three and a half by four and three quarter inches, and I've popped it up with a bit of craft foam and tear tape adhesive to put it on my card base. These are supposed to be clouds that I cut with my electronic cutting machine, but let's pretend they're trees. I kind of think they look like trees. I'm going to use the coordinating die to cut out my sloth. Now that he's dry, I've also added a little bit of dot detailing with some white gouache around his little details, just to, just to add a little bit more fun. And he's going to slide right into those treetops with a little bit of foam tape on the back to kind of match the width or the height of those trees. He's just hanging out. He is hanging in there. The card base was cut from the same gray to match the sloth and it is a size A2 in a top folding orientation. And ta-da, it's done. I really like the opaqueness of the gouache when you don't really care about blending, you just want to add some color to your image. This is great. It's, you know, uh, in between acrylic and watercolor paint, and I find it really fun to play with. So I hope you enjoyed making a card with me today. Find me, find photo play paper on social media. Social media? <laughs> Until next time. Mm -hmm.